KKS presents You Can Draw with Steph Wilson and Carrie Ann. Yeah, we'll mention the paper, and I meant to say hi to that. We're close. To you Can Draw is going to be somebody fun we all love. So you, you really should just pick up pencil and piece of paper at this point. Now, interesting thing about you, I noticed that when I was drawing them. Um, I don't know if in the old, old, old sketches, but in Disney, he's the, one, the only one with stitches. And you can see the stitch marks on him because he's, of course, a stuffed toy. Uh, I think in the original first A. Mill book, there probably was stitching on, I think on Rabbit, maybe. But uh, anyway, Eeyore is the only one in the Disney comics that seems to have stitching on him. Like, Pooh doesn't have any stitching on him that you can see. Piglet doesn't. But uh, Eeyore retained his stitching. It's a lot of fun to draw shape-wise. The interesting thing about Eeyore I was thinking was, there's a lesson about Eeyore. Let me zoom in. Just to scooch back so you can see where we are on the page. Eeyore is, uh, you know, we all think of him as gloomy. He's gloomy, Eeyore. But I think in a way, um, you see it in the book more and the stories more. It's okay for Eeyore to be that way. That's the way he is happy. So, uh, so that's Eeyore. And, and right. we're gonna, he's gonna be horizontal across the page this way. So we're gonna lose some vertical height up here. So we're gonna work to the middle of the page. Um, and the easiest way to draw Eeyore is to understand his head's going to be over here. Look at the picture right now. Kind of mentally prepare yourself. Here's the picture. So his head's going to be off to one side of the page. And then his body's going to kind of go slightly behind and backwards. It's a fun picture with angles and stuff like that going on. So if his head's going to be here in the page, okay? So right here. And we're going right dead center in the page here. All right, and he's gonna have a snout here and stuff. What we're gonna do his eye right about here, okay? And what you wanna do is not an oval, kind of like an egg shape, all right? And now what I'm gonna do is, now you know where you are on the page, all right? And actually what I'll do is I'll put his other eye in and then I'll zoom in so you can see a little bit better what we're doing. Imagine, so imagine that same shape just a little bit narrower. Now I'm going to zoom in so you can see it. But I wanted you to see where we were on the page before you get started. Okay. And now we can zoom in on his face. Let's get that straight. I'm going to straighten that line so you guys have all the right angles. Some pupils and some eyelids. For an eyelid, a little crescent here. And the same there you could draw that line completely through. So they should match. And we have them looking off to the side. So a pupil and another pupil here. Okay. Now, while we're here, let's just give them the eyebrows. There's one here, black. Since we're doing eyes, we can do the eyebrows. And a slightly smaller one up like this too. Okay, and it's slightly smaller because his head's turned a little bit away on that side. Now, the funny thing is when you draw the classic Eeyore snout, you come out with a line like this, you come down like this, okay? Then you go across like that. Oops, I left a little tail pencil there, sorry. And now you want to come up and curve down a little bit. And this could be a hippo's face. It's definitely not a horse face. He's a donkey. But it's not a horse face. Until you do this. Come down for his mouth. All right, just a little line. And now what you want to do is bring it in like that to elongate the face. And now if you draw this little line and then curve it over the top like that, that's the part of Eeyore's nose that's pink. Give him a little nostril there. And a slightly smaller one, like we did the eyes. The eyes smaller, the eyebrows smaller, slightly smaller nostril on that side. Mm -hmm. 
And this is a classic Eeyore mouth because his mouth is always a little downturned like that. Now, right here from where his eyes are, and right here where his chin, where his uh, neck ended, his chin. So right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw an ear. So come down with a line. Then round it down, his long ear. And they flop around. And now we're gonna shoot all the way back up to where we started. His neck is gonna come down here and it's gonna come here alongside his ear. The reference picture that I was looking at, you start just before the end of the ear here for his neck and you go completely parallel to his ear. And you're going to go all the way up to about there. And that's going to look strange, but that's because we have to put his mane in. All right. Um, before we can finish out his ear and the rest of them. Because his mane overlaps some of the details. In other words, this is his neck, but then his mane starts to fall over his forehead like that. Okay. So what you do to draw his mane is just draw some ziggity lines like this. Okay, we've done it a lot. Be a little random. Go in different directions. Okay, because it's messy. All right, he's not like some galloping black beauty horse or something. He's Eeyore. So a couple more zigs right across his head like this. Then one down right before the eyebrow, maybe. And maybe two there. Now, to make it look like Eeyore, Eeyore has black for his mane. And once you get some of that shading in there, you know, the rest of them is going to be color shading, so that's easier. But if you, you put that black in there, you'll start to get the feel of Eeyore. Now, this eye goes right up to his mane. Okay, and that's his head. And then what you do is you can draw an ear coming out. And then, because it's stuck out, it's going to droop down because it's a floppy ear. Come back up for that floppy ear. And now here's a little tricky part. We're gonna draw the inside of the ear and it's gonna become the outside of the ear. Hi, Terry. Because it turns. So it was f coming over this way and then it flopped down inward. If that makes sense. So here's the inside of his ear, but here's where it flopped over. And so when it goes back, it disappears. So we only see the inside of the ear where it flopped over. Now I add a couple more black spikes for his mane. What color is he in? Is he purple, right? He's blue. Oh, is he bluish? He's blue with purple. With the, and a peach nose, right? And like a beigey, very beigey nose. Beigey nose? Yeah. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to start drawing your body. So we got to zoom in a little bit. And get the whole page on there so you can see what's going on. Let me adjust that a little bit. So his body is going to go back this way. And it's going to come up this way. So to give you an idea how it's going to go, we're going to draw part of him, part of the back of him. And what you want to do is we're going to draw a body, like a horse's body here. But this is a donkey body and it's a stuffed animal. So there's a lot of variations there. So don't, don't uh, visualize like a horse in your head because it's going to look very different or a donkey. So this line, don't go straight across your pad. Go up a bit. Okay. And then come down like this. All right. And then fun come back like a crescent going that way. And that's going to tell you where the back of his body is going to be. All right. And we'll work on the front and then we'll come back to the back. But this way you get an idea of his body shape and you get the size down and stuff. So his neck here isn't particularly thin or it isn't particularly thick. It starts right here from his chin. Oh, look at I drew that line wrong. 
I didn't realize that. What do you mean? There's a little snout line. No, you, it's all right on the reference picture. Oh, okay. I had to draw a little further back. Look at that. I didn't realize his mouth was in that color area. Sorry about that, guys. But I just noticed that because I was lining up his chin line. So his chin line comes down and goes out because we're going to have a leg out in front here. I'll show you what it's going to be. We're going to be doing this part of him, the bottom part of him here. So, so this is his neck. This is his leg coming out. And this is the fun part about you. And it's his feet and his legs are a lot of fun to draw because they're very not strict in their shaping. So down comes his foot, goes over like this, and comes up. I think like a teddy bear or whatever, but of course he's a he's a donkey. And then right here, this is his leg coming out. A little line like that for his leg. You see how his neck was coming down here, but we turned to do his leg? Well, the way his neck is coming down is where the rest of his body is going to go. So swing this down till you get to about where his ear is. Okay. And that's his belly right there. Okay. But we're going to stop about where his ear is. Same line as his ear. And when you're looking at a reference picture, that's how you kind of line things up. You're looking at a reference picture of his ear and you're like, okay, that's where his leg starts. That's how you kind of put things on a page. His other leg comes down, okay? It goes back, just a scooch. And what you gotta think of it is like big floppy teddy bear type legs so that you get that kind of roundish, kind of floppy, that's his foot. Go ahead and put a little wrinkle in there. And now bring that up. And while we're here, front leg, front leg. He has two back legs. One back leg shows up right here. Okay, but just in silhouette and far behind him. So when you look at it, because we haven't drawn the rest of his, the back of him. But then when you see his other back leg, you're like, oh yeah, that's about where his leg would be. So if you draw the belly that was going down into his leg, just imagine that line continuing and bring it up parallel to that line you drew there. And now we can draw his other back leg. His other back leg starts right about here on his belly. Okay. And it turns back. And it goes over. And again, think teddy bear arms. Nothing fancy. Do a little fold. And there you go. Now we got to do his tail, which is fun. But let's go ahead and put his stitching in. So what you do is right here on his snout, come up, go up between his eyes and up his forehead. And to make stitching, what you do is you just put a little slash mark, a little slash mark. Sometimes you put an X. Okay, for, for stitching, you put little thread marks and maybe a couple more and I'll zoom in again. Okay, just to show that there's little threads. And that kind of stitching goes up his leg, across to his belly and down. And here it goes across that way. And again, just a little slash, little slash, maybe an X. Don't space them out evenly. You want it to look random. So put two next to each other and one a little further apart kind of thing. So that looks random. And you'll get the stitches on your. Now all we gotta do is his tail. Turned mostly away. So much so that his other back leg is actually visible up here. If we were drawing him in profile, both his back legs would be here. So he's obviously turned this way. 
Plus his back foot being higher up on the page than this foot tells you that this foot is closest to you and this foot is further back. So that's how you get the idea that he's pivoted about. So with his tail, where it attaches, like Matt was saying, it's attached with a nail because it keeps falling out from the book, if you've read the book. So all we're gonna see where it attaches in is the top of it. And just to explain what you're drawing, Eeyore's tail is basically, okay, if that's his tail, it's basically a flat strip of fabric because he's a toy. And there's a little tack or whatever holding it in. So all we're seeing is the end of that strip of fabric. The tack would actually be behind the fabric. That's why you're only doing a little bump out there. And that is because Christopher Robin keeps trying to reattach his tail. So it comes down his tail and it swings out like that. Nothing fancy. He doesn't curl around. It's not that long. It's a donkey tail. So a parallel line that gets a little closer together. Now, the funny thing is, as gloomy as Eeyore is, Christopher Robin has given him a big, bright bow on the end of his tail. Okay? So what you want to do is draw a circular shape that his tail is disappearing into. Okay? And that's where the ribbon is knotted around his tail. And for a bow, this is how you draw a bow. We're going to zoom in on that. Because I'm realizing that would probably look a little bit small even on an iPad. Let's get his tail in there. Okay, yours tail. All right. This is how you do a bow. You've got this round shape. All right, the tail's going into it. That's where it's knotted. So what we need is a bow. And what you do is you draw a line up, you come across, you come down, and you go towards that. Towards the knot out, across, make a flat edge, and then in. Ah, oh, a little curved line going into the knot right there to give your bow dimension. And I'll put a little shading in there, and you can too, to show that is the inside of the little bow, okay? And if you want to make it really three-dimensional, you add a little shading to the bow there, and then you get the idea of three dimensions. Now his tail looks a lot like his mane. It's a bunch of spiky shapes. And it's black, just like his mane. Now granted, I was doing the animated version was my reference picture. So there's not a lot of detail to his his uh, tail hair or his mane hair. It's really just a shape. It's really just a shape, yeah. So they're not giving it texture. You don't have to draw different strands of hair or anything like that. He's a cartoon character. Okay. So you've got an Eeyore. And he's looking pretty white and plain. And Carrie's going to show you some fantastic colors eventually. But in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to get a little bit of shading. Right here to the top of his foot. This is how you give dimension. Okay. Put a little shading on this back leg because this is where it disappears under his belly. I'm sure you made it better. Just different. Okay. Little gray shading right here. A little bit of gray shading along the fold. You can put a little bit on the top of his foot. Now this back foot would be almost completely in shadow. So don't make it black like his mane or something, but give it lots of shading there. Same thing here. Now his belly is lighter and carry to show you the colors. Okay, but you do a little bit of shading there anyway. And a little bit of shading right here where his leg meets his body. Tail. And, you know, you just kind of visualize what would be in shadow. Sometimes I'll put a little shading when something gets narrower. Because if you shade something, it'll make it look narrower. That's bizarre, but it works. 
across his back. And sometimes it's not exactly right. It just, it just looks, looks right. right. Exactly. That oh. was like the hardest thing to overcome. It's like, no, but there would be no shadow there. But yeah, there needs to be a shadow there. Or there needs to be a counter light there. It just... Right. It's most important because you're doing a two-dimensional drawing of something that should be usually in three dimensions. So you have to, like you said, bend the rules a bit. And what you want to do is make it look right. Because human beings are going to look at it in two dimensions. And if you want them to put it into a three-dimensional image in their head, you have to give them some little clue there too. But that's his lighter color belly. So you don't want to overshade his belly because his belly should get a lighter color. All right, first. Oh, wow, you did that really good. If you're, and I did a really nice on a reference picture. Snap that picture if you want a reference picture. If somebody wants to claim your, just send me a message. Um, oh, wow. It's like looking at the cartoon. I love the lighting you did on him. Well, I, the cartoon doesn't have shading and lighting. Here's Eeyore's cartoon. colors for Disney. Like she said, the old book, he was gray, but Disney made him blue. Thank you so much for drawing and watching with us. Please like, comment, and share if you had fun.